Hello everyone, welcome back to The Journeyman. I'm back in the Harry Potter closet. Um, today I thought I would react to the trailer for The First Omen. I had no idea that they were making another Omen movie. Um, whether this is as part of the Omen franchise or something completely different, like The Pope's Exorcist, is nothing to do with The Exorcist. Um, I had no idea, I just was just scrolling around today and I saw this you know I've been a little bit out of touch with everything the last few months um so yeah I thought why not react to it I don't know again if this has any ties to the original the Richard Donner one or um the 2006 remake uh with Le Liev, Liev Schreiber Liev Schreiber Cotton Weary from Scream um or Ray Donovan <clears throat> yeah so We'll give this a little watch, um, see see what's going on, and see if it's any good or if it looks a uh, looks guff. Um, to be honest, I've, there's a lot of these sort of like horror films, you know, the like spiritually based ones, which I've been watching a lot more recently actually. Um, with my daughter, who's now 13, she's getting into horror films um, off of the back of watching Stranger Things and all of that. Um, yeah, we've been watching the the Kundra movies and um she's taken a liking to the nun movies and what was that other one we watched? Um oh, uh, the Boogeyman, which was alright, but you know, I get a, a lot more enjoyment out of these cheesy horror films, which you know, I've always been a big fan of horror films, you know, two of my top three movies are horror films, Scream and Halloween. Um <clears throat> But yeah, I get a lot more enjoyment now from a from a father point of view seeing her you know um react to them and get scared you know the nun you know is is cheesy and it has some like little jump scares in it and that but to her it's like the scariest movie in the world so you know um i i appreciate them and enjoy them on that level so um this could be a good one to to watch with her um probably not in the cinema but um on the vod or whatnot when it comes out so Let's give it a a whirl. Um, this trailer's what a minute and three, unless it's got all the shit at the end. It's probably less than a minute. So um, we've had this pause for a minute. So fingers crossed that no ads come up when I press play. So um, yeah, let's have a little looky. No trailers or no ads. Sorry. Twentieth Century Studios, so this will be Disney now. Um, so more than likely, it is associated with the Omen because they're just going to be pumping out franchises. Yeah, it's got a very um, odd. Feel to it. it has that kind of mid 2000s mid to late 2000s where or like early mid to late 2000s where they've released horror films with like a, a rock band playing the song over it so I'm going to go out on a go out on a limb here to say that that is um tied to the Omen franchise um, but yeah them sort of early mid to late well, I'm talking like 2003 to like 2007 time where all the the horror films and the remakes and the remasters trailers were like had like a Rocky Goff soundtrack over them you know like your underworlds and um, Gothica and you know just for things like that it had a very that era feeling to it um it looks okay, not much it was a to it, it's a teaser trailer. Um what the what does the description say? Um there's nothing. Uh, oh yeah, based on the characters created by David Seltzer, the omen. Okay, so yeah, it confirms that it is uh it is tied to that franchise. So yeah, very interesting. Um Yeah, I'll watch it. <laughs> um there's nothing bad in there. It looks like it'll be you know, enjoyable. Actually, one of the films I did enjoy a lot last year was The Pope's Exorcist. Um, 
with um, Russell Crowe in. Um, definitely worth checking out. It's, it's such an odd film, but it was really enjoyable. You know, um, you know, it, they the marketing team. I can't remember which studio it was so a distributor but you know the mark the way they marketed the film was complete toilet you know it was it was it didn't give the true vibe to what the film actually was and i think there's there's a law now isn't it that you can sue movie studios for um you know miss miss selling a film but you know not to to the tone or you know to that level but um you know it i don't think enough people saw the movie to really justify um yeah anyone building up sort of like a online um you know a ruckus over it so yeah the first omen comes out april 5th who's in it um nail tiger free oh she's from the servant funny enough i was talking about that the, uh, on the last video um oh yeah she that is her isn't it why didn't i recognize her i suppose because she's got ah oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't really recognise her, so um, yeah, that's cool. Um, she's a good actress. Um, it's quite funny, you know. It's like the resurgence of the the Brits taking over, even though the um, the servant has finished now. But you know, three out of the four main cast were Brits. You had um, Nell Tiger Free, who plays Leanne. She's British in real life. Um, Toby Kebble, Kebble, he's British of course, and um, Rupert Grint, who's the guy from Harry Potter, again, British. So yeah, um, I'll give this a go, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, if if it's something you want to see or anything like that, let me know in the comments, or not. <laughs> um, anyway, cheers.